hello, happy Wednesday, everyone. And today we are in the master bedroom and we are gonna be decorating it with neutrals and we'll see where I go with this. If you can believe it, I have a cold again. It's not, you know what, but it's, it's a cold and having myself some warm tea. Do you ever get a cold and just wanna like stick your nose up under the steam just because it makes you feel better? That's me today. We went to Virginia over the weekend and I was decorating the log home and cleaning and it snowed. The day we got there, it was 61 degrees. The next day, it the temperatures dropped and it snowed. And so I'm telling you the fluctuation and all this cold weather, then a little bit warmer, colder, warmer, it's doing a job on me, I'm telling you. Okay, so today what I'm gonna share is our new bedding and I'm going to tell you guys, I have been having a heck of a time finding artwork that I like anywhere in this house. So you will see in most of my rooms, it's missing artwork. That's okay. I'm going to, I'd rather wait and find something that we love than buy something for the sake of just having something on the walls. So in this room, I am going to be using my mirrors that I have, um, like wall embellishments that just have a pretty design and we're going a little more minimalistic, but I will spice things up during the spring with color. So, but I have to tell you, I'm loving the neutrals. I'm loving it, you guys. Okay, so before we got started on this room, I wanted a comforter to steer the direction of this room. And I was not seeing anything that excited me until we went to this one furniture store and I don't know who the designer is in that store that puts each room together, but she does a beautiful job. So when I saw this comforter set, I went, oh, I have to have it. And so I asked the um, sales lady and she said, unfortunately, the comforters here are not for sale, but the designer leaves the packaging under the bed because so many people love what she does. She'll She'll tell you what it is and then you can go buy it or look, try to locate it online. So that's what I did. She gave me, I snapped a picture of it and you can bet your bottom dollars when I got home. I checked Amazon first and I couldn't believe it. I found it. I believe it's by Harbor House and I'll share a picture, a screenshot of it that I took before I took it out of the package. So if you like it, you can try to find it in your neck of the woods or on Amazon if I link it below. We got all new bedroom furniture, which was so hard to find. Everything was out of stock or it was like out of stock for three months. And at this particular store, they said, we have this whole set, it's on sale. We can have it delivered tomorrow. I went, shut the front door. Are you serious? And they said, yes. And I said, well, it's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's close enough and I think I can work with it, sign us up, let's do it. So my bedroom furniture at the log home is darker, it's a darker wood stain, and in this room we went light and bright. I have to say I'm loving it. I'm gonna hang this above the bed. This I found at Kirkland's, and I loved the beaded look, I loved that it was like the white with the brown, that is like my thing right now. Loving it, and then I like to add pops of green or perhaps color, and I think it works so well. So, let's hang this above the bed. So it looks like, and then moving down, we have the new uh, headboard and footboard. And then over here, I've got a down uh, feather comforter and sheets that I've tucked in there. And now I'm gonna add this beautiful comforter. So look how pretty this is. I love the texture and the design on this comforter. It's neutral that you can mix and match different things with this, and I think it's gonna look gorgeous. So I have this pillow, 
and this pillow to go with it. I ordered extras on Amazon because I like a lot of pillows on my bed. Um, I can't remember how many it comes with, but I'll, again, I'm gonna link it all below, but I do remember adding extras. I was also looking for a really good Euro sham. I wasn't having a lot of look, luck with it, so I did find these at um, Target, and I love it. It's got the little fringe on it, and I thought these could go on the back, and then the big pillows right in front of it. Let's not get stuck in our worries. We'll make our way. Won't you come outside? Next, I have these huge king size pillows, and these will go right in the front. Just you and me together, well, I'll sing better outside. Just us in the sky. I will go Next, I'm going to add one on each side, and then the little pillow will go right in the front. I just want to show you how pretty this design is. I just love it. So it's a neutral color and it's got these little, like, it's like a fuzzy little design. I love it. And I read in the reviews, people said there was um, a lot of shedding. I have had a little bit, but not that much. So, I mean, I've I haven't had any problems with mine. Basically, when I took it out of the bag and kind of was fluffing it, I saw a little bit of fallout, but you know, not bad. So this is what it looks like, just like that. I wanna show you guys something. Um, we have an adjustable base bed, and this actually came with two drawers. Now that would be for a regular sized bed. So what my husband did is he took the drawers out and he like glued them back on so that we could use our adjustable base. Um, so it works, but I'm gonna put a little bench in front of this. So I brought this piece from the log home. This was my uh, little French country padded bench. I believe I got this at Bassett Furniture and I just thought it would go really well with the bedding. So there's the bench, here's the bedding. I think it'll go nicely together. And now when I take a little step back, that's what it looks like. Next to the bed on each side, we have this little side table with two drawers. And then you can see it's got the matching wood. What I'm gonna do is this. Personally, I always like to protect the wood on top. And the way I like to do that is by adding a cute tray. Now it could be any kind of tray, but I really like this one because I like how it goes with the comforter. I love the textural element, as you all know. And what I'm gonna do is add my lamp. I'm keeping it super simple for right now. We will revisit this down the line. This is just a get the master bedroom done kind of video, but this will go down and then the lamp. By the way, you can get these baskets all day long at Home Goods. Ross, Marshalls, those kinds of stores. And they're very inexpensive. Next, I'm gonna add this beautiful lamp. It goes beautifully with the comforter set. And I love how it's sort of distressed looking and this is just a nice beige color. So I'm gonna set that in the basket. Okay, that's how it looks. I don't like a lot of stuff on my nightstand, so like I said, we're keeping it super simple. We each have a phone charger next to the bed, which we use uh, when we go to bed at night. We just put our phones in there. And next, all I'm gonna add is a candle and a candle holder. I have this little rustic wood candle holder. I'm just gonna place it here and place one of my LED flameless flickering candles just right on top. Okay, we will revisit that. I'm gonna go do the same thing on the other side and I might go out to the garage and find some greenery or a cute little topiary, I don't know. We'll come back to that. 
Okay, like I said, same thing on this table. Basket tray. Lamp. Next, this little candle that says family. I found this topiary at a place called Home Sets. And it kind of reminded me of a cross between Home Goods and Ross pricing. So I, I was able to find many, many inexpensive items there that were cute. So we may revisit this area, not sure about the topiary, but I do like the splash of green. Next, let's add a chair and a faux blanket and a pretty pillow. So right here, I've got this cute chair and I've got a cute pillow and throw for it. Next, I'm gonna add this. This will go on the wall and then the chair will sit beneath it. But I love this. I got this at TJ Maxx and it was $24.99. I think it's pretty and then the chair will sit right underneath it. Great way to save money, drop cloth curtains. They are heavy duty. You can, you get a lot of material so you can fold it over to give it a real cute farmhouse look, add curtain clips, and then put your rod up high to give your room a more dramatic look as opposed to going right here. I went up and then that allowed me to um, get a more dramatic look and have them puddled to the floor. And you guys, I love these. I love how they're puddling on the floor. And then when I take a step back, that's what they look like. Now I had them shut last night, so I got to fix that, but they're pretty. I love them. Next, I have this beautiful throw blanket I got at Target. Target. Then I found this pillow at Target. And although the design is different than the one on the bed, it's the same concept, same sort of material with the fuzzy stuff. And I love the little pom-poms. I think they're super adorable. So I'm gonna set this on that chair. Now I'm gonna add this beautiful plant I found at TJ Maxx, and I'm gonna place that in the corner. What I would really like to do is add some up lighting. So I might get a little lamp that, you know, you plug in behind there and it shines the light. You can point it up and it'll cast really pretty shadows on the wall at night. So here's what we have so far. You guys may remember that from the log home. I brought one of them. I have two, I left one behind. And um, I love it. Over here in this corner, I have another one of those chairs, but I moved it over here. And now I'm gonna add two cute pillows to it. I have another one of these pillows from Target. And then I'm gonna add this little cute pillow also from Target. And it, it goes so cute together. I think it's cute and it really does tie in well with the bedding over here. I think I'm going to add a cute little topiary right there. It just needs something and it'll tie in with a larger one over on the other side. I'm going to place this new mirror that I found at a furniture store nearby. I purchased two and my whole thinking behind these mirrors was to do something pretty right here. I was actually going to lean them one on either side, but because I have that big mirror, um, it would have been too many mirrors right next to each other. 
And like I said, I just don't have any artwork that I like. And I didn't bring any from the other house. So we're gonna put a mirror in this corner because I like the reflective property and the view out our window is gorgeous. So I'm hoping it'll kind of lighten and brighten uh, this corner. Okay, so off camera, I added this pretty drapey greenery that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I just wanted like a little splash of green plus a textural element. And I think it looks really pretty. Okay, so this is the dresser side over here. And now we're gonna decorate the top of it. So right there, I'm gonna add this cute tray. I got this at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And I'm gonna set it right here. To the tray, I'm gonna add this pretty vase. And this is gonna tie in with the greenery that's up top here. I am simply gonna kind of push this in here and drape it out of that vase. I have this little interesting piece and I think I just picked this up at Home Goods. One day, it was when I was doing my beach or coastal look and feel, but I like it because it ties in nicely with my comforter set, and I'm just gonna stick that in the center of the vase. I have these little book boxes. I got, you can get these at Hobby Lobby. You know, they just, they're great to use as risers or just for decorative purposes. And I like the colors. They're kind of soft and muted and it goes with the vase as well. So I thought I would sit them right there, just standing straight up. Cutting boards, well, I like risers just as much, especially the ones that have little feet on them. And so I think I got this one on Amazon and this one I got it Dollar General. I'm gonna place these right here. Next, I found this cute uh, birdcage at HomeSense and uh, it was $12.99. I'm telling you, their prices are amazing. Um, but what I'm gonna do is take this, I'm gonna sit it right here and watch what I do next. I'm adding ambiance. Next, I have this cute little wreath, and it goes really well with the comforter. Take a peek. So what I'm gonna do is sit it inside the birdcage. And once you get your wreath in there, kind of pull out the little flowers through, uh, through here. And then it looks really cute. Okay, next, this is a, uh, a wax warmer from Walmart. And you can find these on Amazon as well. I sometimes don't use them for a wax warmer. I use them as little accent lights. And that's what I'm gonna be doing in this case. So I'm just gonna take the end of the plug, pull it through the cage, drop it to the electrical outlet, and turn it on. And you'll see how cute it looks. Mm -hmm. 
So just pull your cord through the back, turn it on, and shut the top of it. And seriously, is that not cute? I think it's it's almost a little sweet and romantic. It's something really cute to think about doing somewhere in your house for spring. Trust me when I say when you turn this little light on at night, it is so pretty and cozy. And by the way, guys, when spring comes around, I'm going to probably be adding some color to this. But for now, I like it. I want to sort of conceal that little electrical outlet and I'm, I'm really liking putting things in the corners. So I have this basket and a pillow. I'm just gonna set it there for texture and to kind of cover it. So right behind me, I have our television and another dresser. And again, another great way to ambiance is to do this. All right, so what I have here is a big open lantern. It's a wood base on the bottom. So I found this really cute cage lamp at Home Goods. And I sat it, I kind of stuck it in this way and brought it up. And then I plugged it in. And so at night when you walk in here, it's, you know, really pretty. It casts like a really nice ambiance. It's got an Edison bulb in it. And I can't say enough about how much I love this. And we'll just leave it on like while we watch TV at night. Right here, uh, down below, I'm going to put a little something, something right there. Another pedestal. I have another pedestal, riser, whatever you want to call it. I'm telling you, these are my like favorite new thing now because you can use them on the floor. You can use them on tables. You can use these on your kitchen. You can use these on hutches. Anywhere you want to do a cute display or to elevate decor items. So I'm gonna place this on the floor next to the dresser. So I set it right there. It's, it's not going to interfere with walking by or anything like that. But what I'm going to do is set a little vase with some florals in it to give it, I don't know, to jazz it up a little. So I shared this. I found these little florals at um, Target, and I thought they went really nicely together. So I've got a bunch of these and this white vase. And I'm going to... Take all the tags off and stick them in there and put this on the floor. Can you guys believe it is now evening time? I had to run and take my daughter to a dental appointment and the day escaped me. So here I am trying to finish up my video here Tuesday evening. And what I did was I just took my florals, um, threw them in this face, and I'm gonna sit them down on that riser. All right, guys, I, I'm kind of glad that it's evening because I wanted you to see how cozy it looks at night. I, I love the neutrals. I love my little drop cloth curtains and uh, my little throw. I just, I love the way it turned out, even though it's much more simplistic than I usually tend to go. Um, I think once we live here a little bit and I kind of get a feeling for where I would like to steer this room, a bit more perhaps with some artwork and maybe more color. I don't know, we'll see where I go with this, but for now it's it's clean and it's cozy and I love it. Now, let me spin you over here. That is the restroom. I just love this door that rolls to the side. And maybe in a few weeks, we'll decorate the bathroom together. We'll see. You guys ready for the tour? Let's do it.
my sweet friends. I thank you so much for joining me today. Come back and see me Friday. We might, we might be up in the home theater or we'll be working on a couple vignettes in the family room. I haven't decided yet. So I might, I might do the home theater for next week because that's going to be a big video. So most likely the family room. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, thanks for joining me and I'll see you Friday. Love you all.